What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and today we are going to talk about the Gauntlet of the Gods in Gods Unchained, and how you can earn Flux the easy way. Okay, so Flux is very important in Gods Unchained in creating value for you as a trader and as a player. Flux is an in-game currency in Gods Unchained that's not like the other ones, the Gods token and the Ethereum token, because those are cryptocurrencies, whereas Flux is something that you're going to need to get, and you can only get it by playing the game so that you can actually mint the NFTs or basically take your cards and turn them into NFTs, which can be traded and sold. Of course, if you haven't downloaded Gods Unchained yet, you can use the link in the description of this video along with the referral code to get started. To gather Flux, you're going to need to go through something called the Gauntlet of the Gods. So when you're on the main screen here, you can see it's listed at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you'll see that we have a diagram here of exactly how to earn the Flux and what you do with it. And you'll see these six dark boxes here that are all locked. And the reason that they're locked is because behind each one of them is a God. And it is totally random. So what you're going to have to do is take one of your decks, which inevitably has a god attached to it, and win a game with it. When you do that, one of them unlocks. Let me unlock one for you so you can see what I'm talking about. So I just played a match with Aeona, who is the goddess of nature, and you can see that because I won, it unlocked her. And it gave me credit for the win right here with a little gold star. And you can see that there's two more black circles here, which means that I need to win two more times with her to get the most amount of flux out of her that I possibly can. But I also have two other gods that were randomly unlocked next to her. This is going to be different every day. And this refreshes every day, by the way. So uh, as we go around the board here, uh, I can win matches now also with the goddess of deception and the god of light. And when I win matches with them up to three, I'll get more flux. Now, of course, I can keep playing matches beyond the three for any of these gods. I'm just not going to earn the flux for it uh, that you're earning here. Now, as you go around, like when I uh, win with the God of Light, that's also going to unlock this uh, magic god here as well. Uh, and then if I win one with the God of Deception, then the war god will unlock. Again, this will change every day, so it's not necessarily going to go in this order, but you can earn a lot of flux just by going around the circle here. So what this is incentivizing you to do is have a really strong deck for each god, and you're going to notice the flux build up up here. Uh, you're going to need a lot of flux if you want to mint your cards into NFTs and uh, go sell and trade on the marketplace. So you really want to be paying attention to this gauntlet of the gods and doing it each day rather than taking, let's say, your best deck and your best god and going out and just playing with that all the time. Uh, it's better for you to have strong decks for each god and keep going around this each day so that you can make your collection even stronger. Now, I did say I was going to tell you the uh, easy way to do this, and this is uh, particularly important for the new players, but even for veteran players. I have a philosophy with the Gauntlet of the Gods that it's probably better to play with uh, aggro decks. And that's because uh, the, the matches tend to go quicker. Either, you know, sometimes you get a board out that is really hard for them to deal with and you just win or sometimes they know it's too hard to deal with and they just quit or even if you don't get the kind of cards that you want or they're just too overpowering you know that pretty quickly as well so by playing aggro decks you're actually going to move through the gauntlet a lot faster because if you think about it if each match takes five to ten minutes and you've got to play uh 36 of these matches, it's going to take you a really long time uh, to get through here. Um, that's assuming a 50% win rate, right? So if you're if you're good, you can move through it a lot quicker than that. Um, if you're worse, it might take you a bit longer, but you can keep going until you get all the flux that you need. Now for starters, beginners in particular who are just starting the game, uh, I want to show you what I have done, and I'm releasing videos about each of these decks. 
I've created free to play aggro decks for each of the gods and I'm putting out videos about what those decks are so that you can start out with Gauntlet of the Gods earning the flux. And I will tell you what, like a lot of these decks I've just come out and won better than a 50% rate with them. And I've even gotten up into like the Auric Gold ranking, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, with just these free to play decks so this is what i highly suggest you do is go through each god and make an aggro deck your deck doesn't have to look exactly like mine i've done a deck guide with each of these free to play decks that i've put together but use the same philosophy that i'm using in that you want to put a lot of strength on the battlefield for the mana cost uh, and then you're going to be able to really hang with anybody and surprise a lot of really good decks these free-to-play decks are beating some people it probably shouldn't. So make sure to watch some of those. I know I recorded a lot of these free-to-play deck guides and uh, showed you some gameplay before I was really an experienced player. Like I'm still coming out with some that I've, I filmed within like the first 48 hours of downloading the game. So don't necessarily take my gameplay to the bank, but I come from playing Magic the Gathering and some other games like that. So I have a good sense for deck building and things like that. Uh, I will be coming out with some better gameplay videos coming up here. So just remember that I'm a noob too. Um, but you're going to see, uh, I, I feel like I'm picking up the game pretty quickly. And uh, what's important in, um, you know, actually playing through the Gauntlet of the Gods to so look out for some of those videos. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when I drop new videos or go live. And I will catch you in the next one.